One day, Josie the little kangaroo was in a hurry. She was taking some supplies to the Koala Brothers place. Frank and Buster were busy building a stage for the Outback Talent Show, which was held on one very special day of the year. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Josie. Josie. Here are the things you ordered, Frank. Thanks, Josie. Wow. The stage looks great. Yeah, and it's nearly ready for the show. Just imagine everybody up on stage performing. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, well, Josie, you're just in time for a tea break. I might just stay out here for a while. I'll just see what it feels like. Now, Josie had a little secret. She really loved to dance. But she was very shy and only danced when no one was looking. Look, Frank. Gee, she's a really good dancer. You're right, Buster. <laughs> well done, Josie. That was great. I can't wait to see you dance in the show. Me? Dance? With everyone looking? I couldn't. Why not, Josie? I'm not nearly a good enough dancer. And, and, and besides, I'm the one dancing. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Mitzi. All ready for the show? Not yet. When you're the star, there's a million and one things to do. I could really do with a hand. Hey, Josie, how would you like to be my special helper? Special helper? Ooh. Oh, thanks, Mitzi. You can start by carrying this. But, Josie... Come on, let's go and practice my dance. It's a pity Josie's too shy to dance in the show. Hmm, maybe there's something we can do to help her. Hmm. Back at Archie's place, Archie was already practicing hard for the Outback Talent Show. <clears throat> Ladies, gentlemen and the Koala Brothers, welcome to this show of shows. Hi, Archie. Oh, hello, Mitzi. And Josie. Are you dancing too? Oh, no, Archie. I'm Mitzi's special helper. That's right. And your next job is to pass me my hat and cane. Please. Ah, hmm. Allow me to introduce to you the star of today's show, our very own Mitzi. <laughs> See, it'll be all right on the night. I hope so. It's these silly taps. They're just bottle tops. Oh, you'll be as right as rain with your real tap shoes, Mitzi. Thanks, Josie. Well, uh, best get a bit of sleep before the show. Now, Josie, after you've packed away, don't forget to pick up my dancing shoes from the shop. Uh, okay, Mitzi. Just see how it feels to dance like Mitzi. After helping Mitzi practice, Josie knew the dance by heart. Dancing is always good fun, and Josie really did want to dance in the show, but she was just too shy. At Sammy's store, the bush band were also practicing hard for the show. Yay! Good one, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. I've come for Mitzi's dancing shoes. There you go, Josie. Oh, they're gorgeous. Sammy? You don't have any spare bottle tops, do you? Of course. Yeah. What are you going to do with them? Oh, I thought I might make a pair of tap shoes. Does that mean you're going to dance in the show? No, I couldn't. What would happen if I made a mistake? Nothing. It wouldn't matter at all. All you can do is your best. But up on a real stage? You'd be amongst friends. And besides, everybody's having a go. Hmm. Well, I'd better get these special dancing shoes to Mitzi right away. I wish I was as brave as Mitzi. Maybe you are, Josie. You just need to give it a go. <sighs> Bye. 
Master, I've got an idea. Hi, Josie. There you go. Oh, what's this? It's a present, Josie. Have a look inside. Ah, Frank, Buster, they're beautiful. We wanted to give you these so you can dance whenever you feel like it. You never know when they might come in handy. Oh, thank you, Frank. Thank you, Buster. Oh, it's OK, Josie. After all, we're, we're here, here to help. help. It's not every day of the year that there's a show in the outback, so there was a lot of excitement. Only, Josie was feeling a little bit sad. She wished she was brave enough to have a go up on stage. Ladies, gentlemen and the Koala Brothers, welcome! Is everyone ready to have a good time? Yay! Then, with no further ado, let me introduce you to... Our very own Bush Band. Yay! Take it away! Yay! Let's hear it for the Bush Band. Let's welcome to the stage Mitzi in her world famous tap dance of the Bush Plum Fairy. No! Oh, I can't get it off! Oh. Don't worry, everyone. Frank will think of something. Uh, hurry, Frank! Uh, I've got to go on! Uh, 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 it's no use. It's stuck. I say, uh, someone will have to go on in Mitch's place. What? <gasps> go on stage and do my dance? But who knows the steps? Josie, don't you know Mitzi's dance off by heart? Well, I... Uh, uh, I guess. She's even wearing the right shoes. Oh. What do you think, Mitzi? Oh, well... All right, then. Um... OK. Oh, I'll do it. Yay! And now, let's welcome to the stage... ..our very special guest, Josie, in the tap dance of the Bush Plum Fairy. Great. So the Outback Show was a great success and everyone was very proud of Josie, who'd finally found the courage to dance in front of all her friends, <laughs> with a little help from the Koala Brothers. <laughs> One sunny Outback day, Josie was very excited. She was expecting a parcel from George, the postman. <laughs> George. You know what they say, Josie. A watched pot never boils. Mm, I'm not watching for a pot. I'm watching for a postman. Oh! Uh, morning, Josie. Can I come in? Oh, sorry, George. Ooh. Uh, here are your letters, Sammy. Oh, thanks, George. Ooh. Oh, well. And there's something for you too, Josie. I left it out here because it's a bit, well, big. Big? That is big. Heavy too. Morning, everyone. What's this? Morning, Frank. Buster. That's Josie's parcel. Are you going to open it? Oh, of course. 
Uh, what is it, Josie? It's a tuba! Oh, wow! What's a tuba? It's a musical instrument. Oh, I've always wanted to play an instrument, and this will look really interesting. How do you play it? I think you blow into this bit. <gasps> Gosh, I... Uh, it sounds terrible, doesn't it? It'll sound great in time, Josie. You just need to practice, that's all. You think? Oh, yeah, right. Yes. I reckon so. Maybe I should practice away from the store. I wouldn't want anything to get broken. Yes, that's not a bad idea. So Josie found a nice spot by the cafe where she thought she could practice without bothering anyone. Oh, hi, Josie. Oh, Alice, I'm so sorry. I'm learning to play this tuba. But, well, it's a bit noisy. Hi, Josie. I've been thinking, and I might have a solution to your problem. Ta-da! What are they? Earmuffs. You put them on, and you can't really hear anything. If we all wear these, you'll be able to practice and you won't disturb anybody. Oh, thanks, Frank. Thanks, Buster. We're here to help. <gasps> Frank's idea was a good one. No one could hear Josie practicing, oh. but they couldn't hear anything else either. Good morning, George. Making your deliveries. What was that? Sorry, what did you say? You'll have to speak up. Are you making your deliveries? I've got to go. I'm making the deliveries. What? This isn't working out. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> I'll look forward to it. I'm really sorry, Josie. I know. Thanks for trying. I guess I'll just have to go even further away. Josie was a bit sad. Whatever she did, she and her tuba seemed to cause problems. So Josie decided that she'd have to practice well away from the town. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Hi, Josie! Wow! A tuba! I'm learning to play it, but the noise seems to bother people in town. Could I practice here? No problem. Here goes. <gasps> wow, it is loud, Josie. But I don't mind. Have another go. <gasps> Mitzi, Mitzi, did you hear that noise? Yes, Ned, that was... Wasn't it weird? Shh, shh. A sort of, uh... Bleh. Really strange. Ned! Shh. Oh, hi, Josie. Like the tubula. So what do you think that terrible noise could... Oh, sorry, Josie. Was that you? It's OK, Ned, you're right. All I do is make horrible noises. No-one wants to listen to that. Josie, Ned didn't mean that... I'm going. I'll come with you, Josie. No, thanks. I think I just want to be by myself for a while. That's OK. Mm. A little later, Frank and Buster arrived back with the groceries. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Ned. Hi. Have you seen Josie? We wanted to see how our practice was going. Uh... Is anything the matter? We don't know where Josie is. She wanted to be on her own. She was a bit sad, I reckon. Don't know why. Maybe we should take the plane up, see if we can spot her. Good idea, Frank. Frank and Buster had been searching for a little while when Buster thought he saw something down at the waterhole. There she is, Frank. There's Josie. Is everything all right, Josie? No, not really. What's the use of playing an instrument if no one wants to hear you play? I'm going to send it back. I don't want to learn to play an instrument now. I say, is it true we have a new musician in our midst? Ha! <laughs> a 
tuba. Splendid. You think? Jose is thinking of sending it back. Oh, but why? Because all I can make is horrible noises. You know, when I first played the banjo, it used to sound very strange. Yes, I used to take my ukulele into the outback, find a nice quiet spot and practice where no one could hear me. That way I didn't have to worry about bothering people. That's what I want to do. But a tuba isn't like a ukulele. It's really loud and really heavy. I couldn't carry it far enough. Mm, that is a problem. Josie, why don't I take you and your tuba in the plane? I can drop you off wherever you like, then you can practice in peace, and I'll pick you up later and bring you home. Oh, would you? It'd be my pleasure. So Frank and Josie looked for a place where Josie could practice without worrying what other people were thinking. Josie picked a lovely shady spot, way out in the outback. I'll pick you up in an hour or two, Josie. Good luck, and remember... I know, practice makes perfect. <gasps> Later that afternoon, Mitzi and Ned were starting to miss Josie. When will she be back, Buster? She's been away ages playing that tubula. She'll be back as soon as she's finished practicing, I guess. Will she be practicing all the time now? If she wants to be a good player, she'll have to practice, but not all the time. Oh, good. Because I sort of miss her a bit. I think I even miss that... They're back! Thanks for the lift, Frank. Anytime, Josie. Hi, Hi Josie! Josie. Oh. Hi. Did you miss me? Yeah. I've had a great time practising. And listen, I've learned four whole notes. Oh. oh. the tubula, couldn't you, you know, do your practicing here? I'd love to, Ned. Tuba, Ned. It's a tuba. <laughs> Later that day, everyone was invited to a concert at the waterhole, featuring Frank, Archie and Josie. <laughs> Josie was really happy to see how much her friends enjoyed the music. And she realised that it isn't always easy when you start something new. But if you keep on practising, you can learn to do almost anything. <laughs> One morning in the outback, Alice got some very good news. So good, in fact, that she couldn't wait to tell the Koala brothers. What is it, Alice? Oh, George, I've won! I've won a poetry competition with my poem! I must go and tell Frank and Buster straight away! Uh, what about your scooter, Alice? Uh, well done, Alice! Yay. Oh. It's Alice. Hello, Alice. Morning. My poem. I won. Won what, Alice? A poetry competition with my poem. Look. First ah. prize. Ah. Cooey. What's all the fuss? Alice's poem has won first prize in a poetry competition, Mitzi. Oh, that's great. I love poems. Let's hear it, Alice. Oh, do you really want to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. M. It's called My Favourite Place. The waterhole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. With Archie, Ned and Mitzi too. That's me. I'm in the poem. Shh. We like to swim around all day. Then all my friends come along with me to Frank and Buster's house for tea. And so my day comes to an end out at the homestead with all my friends. Wow! Wow! Did you write all that yourself? Yeah. 
Everyone agreed it was a great poem. No wonder Alice had won first prize. We should have a party to celebrate. Good idea, Frank. And Alice can read out her poem. I'll learn my poem off by heart so they can see it all without a piece of paper. Are you sure about that, Alice? Learning a whole poem can be really hard. Oh, quite sure, Frank. Wowee! I'll go and tell everyone we're having a party for Alice's poem. <gasps> OK, then. Come on, Buster. Let's fly over to the store and pick up some food for the party. Right, Frank. Meanwhile, Mitzi was telling everyone she could find about Alice's good news. There you go. Thanks, Lolly. What brings you here, then, Mitzi? I've come to invite you to a celebration at the homestead. Alice has won first prize in a poetry competition. First prize, eh? Ha! <laughs> That's marvellous. And she's going to recite her poem to all of us by heart. Oh, splendid. By heart? Wow. I could never remember a whole poem. Back at the homestead, Alice was having trouble remembering her poem too. The water hole is big and blue. I go there too. Oh, I've forgotten again. Play, that's it. The water hole is big and play. I go there all the time to blue. No, that isn't right. How's it going, Alice? Thought you might like a drink. Oh, thanks, Ned. It's not going well at all. Remembering my poem is much harder than I thought. Maybe I can help. Do you think so, Ned? The water hole is Mitzi too. I go there and Ned and Archie play. With Big and Swim around and Blue. Uh, I don't think that's quite right, Alice. I'll never remember it all. Maybe you could read your poem, Alice, not try to remember it. Cooey! I've told everyone about your poem, Alice. They can't wait to hear you say it all by heart. Lolly and Archie and George and... Mitzi. It's no good. If I can't remember my poem, there's no point in having a recital. Oh, but I've told everyone now. Oh, don't give up, Alice. Uh, Frank? Yeah. Maybe you just need a bit of help from your friends. Sammy's good at remembering things. Why don't you ask him to help you? That's a great idea, Frank. Don't forget your poem. Oh, thanks, Ned. Sammy? Josie? I need you to help me. I'm trying to remember my poem by heart, but I keep on... Forgetting? How do you remember things, Sammy? Well, if I have to remember something important, I sometimes draw a picture of it. That usually works. Now, how does this poem of yours begin? The water hole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. Hmm. I know just what we need. <clears throat> ah, right. Let's try it out. <clears throat> My favourite place. The... The water hole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. <gasps> I did it! I remembered! <laughs> all you need to do is look at this picture whenever you need to remember the first line of your poem. Thanks, Sammy. Oh, don't mention it, oh. Alice. <laughs> Alice realised that she just needed to find things that would remind her of each piece of the poem. Luckily, she had her friends to help her. OK. Ready, everyone? The water hole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play with... Archie, Ned and Mitzi too. We like... Swim around all day. Ah, I remembered. Thank you. Well, well done, Alice. Alice. See you at the party, Alice. Alice couldn't wait to tell Frank and Buster how well she was doing remembering her poem. Hi, Alice. Frank, Buster, I'm remembering. I'm remembering my poem. Listen. The water hole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play. We like to swim around all day. We, we play and... Oh! <gasps> What's the point in being a poet if I can't even remember my own poem? You remember the first line, Alice. How did you do that? 
Sammy said I needed pictures of each thing I wanted to remember. He gave me this. So then I asked Archie and Ned and Mitzi to help me remember the next bit. But now they're not here, I can't remember on my own. Maybe you don't have to, Alice. Frank's got an idea. I can tell. That's right, Buster. But I'll need to borrow your picture, Alice. Really? Don't worry, Alice. We're here to help. Frank realised that Alice needed all her friends to help her if she was going to remember her poem. So, while Alice helped Buster get the homestead ready for the party, Frank arranged for everyone to help Alice. And later that day... Thank you all for coming to our celebration party. To recite her poem by heart, here's Alice the Poet. Thank you, Frank. <clears throat> do you think she can do it? My favourite place. The... Oh. Oh. Uh, uh. The waterhole is big and blue. I go there all the time to play with... Archie, Ned and Mitzi too. We like to... Swim around all day. Then all my friends come along with me to Frank and Buster's house for tea. And so my day comes to an end. Out at the homestead with all my friends. Yay! I did it! I did it! I remembered it all! Alice realised if you want to remember something really important, it's a good idea to break it down into bits and get all your friends to help you. Shout. Hey, hey.